In this chapter, we will learn about the fact that we can customize SSIS. Traditionally, when we look at SQL Server Integration Services, we're going to use some of the default tasks, the data flow tasks, the control flow tasks, the containers. But if for some reason we choose to create our own customized task in some sort of C or C++ script, we're going to show you that we can actually do that within SSIS. First of all, let's come over here and I'm going to go to my start screen and I'm going to go open up my SQL Server data tools. And under my SQL Server data tools, let's just go ahead and open up a pre-existing project or solution. And let's go ahead and open up the control flow. And let's open up the control flow IS solution. Now traditionally what we'll see in here is that we have our control flows and we have a package. We have our data flows and we have our parameters, etc. Now a couple of things that we can note here. First of all, under SSIS packages, if we do a right mouse click and I can view the code. And this is actually going to identify the specific code that SQL Server Integration Services uses to implement this. And you can see it's all basically stored in XML format. And I can just kind of scroll down here and see exactly what this package consists of. In this particular case, this package doesn't consist of anything. So what I'm actually going to do is let's go ahead and do a file and exit out of this. And let's open up one that has a little bit more information to it. So let's go to SQL Server Data Tools. And let's go to File. And let's go to Recent Projects and Solution. And here we go. We have the CDC task solution. I know that has a little bit more code to it than the last one did. So here it's preparing the solution. And within here, we have our CDC control flow task and data flow task. And I really don't care what these do. I'm just going to show you some of the features that you can do. Now, if I come over here to the package and I do a right mouse click on it and I do the view code, I can see that this is, again, all of the code that's associated to it. And here, there's quite a bit more code. Again, it's all stored in XML. So basically, the other thing to keep in mind is that all of your customized SSIS components, they're effectively all stored in an XML format. Now I'm going to come back over here, and I'm just going to go to the Design tab. Now the most important thing that I really want to show you is over here, under the SSIS toolbox, we have the ability to totally customize our SSIS components. You see all of these common tasks, like our data flow task and our execute SQL task. And then down here, we have our common tasks, like analysis services, bulk insert, data profiling. We can execute a package. We can execute a process. We can create a general expression. We can do some sort of file system task. We can do some sort of FTP. But bingo, this is the one that I want. I want to have a script task. What the script task enables me to do is to create my own separate scripting language. And SQL Server will support things like C, C++, C Sharp, Assembler. So just a variety of additional tasks. So even if you have a Perl script or something like that that you want to include into SSIS, you can do that. You're not bound to whatever tools that we have within SQL Server Integration Services. Very, very simple to do. All I do is I say I'm going to go ahead and bring the script task. I'm going to drag it over here. And let's just move these guys around a little bit. And let's take our precedent constraint and bring it over here to the script task. So this is just another task that we can implement within our integration services packages. Now, if I come over here and I just double click on the script task, it says this is what my default script language is. Here, out of the default install, we will support Visual C Sharp 2010, as well as Visual Basic 2010. So we're just going to go ahead and look at the default here of Visual C Sharp. And then we can identify the entry port, if any. We can specify our read-only variables, as well as our read-write variables. So effectively, within here, we can modify the script however we want. We can pass it parameters, and we can send the parameters back. So again, if I come over here to the General tab, I can see that the type of task that it is, it's a script task. And then if I want to create any sort of expressions, I can come over here, and I can create my expressions, just like I would normally do with any other type of control flow task or data flow task. So let me go ahead and cancel out of this. When I come back over here to the script language, I can see under the script language that I can actually edit the script. So if there was a script associated to this, I can come in here and I can just go ahead and rewrite the script or modify the script however I need to. So within the SSIS framework, we can see that it came with a script name.cs, and that's very important to note that the scripts will end in the .cs extension. 
So now we can come over here and we can name the script and we can modify the script. And if I just kind of scroll down here, this is breaking it down to all of my different areas for my scripting language. I can specify my DTS task result. If I scroll up here, these are all of the comment sections. So what we're able to do is that we're going to bring in the script task, we're going to assign it the parameters, and then we're going to edit the script as we need to. So the whole point of this is to know and understand that SSIS is totally customizable. So you're not just bound to whatever SSIS provides. You can come in and create your own scripts, or you can even call in a script that you've already created. This will conclude our section on customizing SSIS components.